Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, so we are in Cazador's Crypt. What is this place called? I can't remember. Uh, Cazador's Dungeon, that's what it is. All right, I think we're gonna have like a final battle with him soon. Let's just see how big this place is. All right, looks like Cazador is like further down. Or is that the way out? No idea. Anyways, we're gonna take a look around here. Let's go here. Crypt gate. Okay, what else do we have? What in the Kay. hills? I never knew any of this was here. Oh shit, you didn't? This is all so grand. To think. It was just sitting here, lurking under the floor. Uh, do you think he built this dungeon just for the ritual? I don't know. It feels older than that. Who knows how old? But Cazador will want a grand space for his ascension. A venue like this feels perfect. Now we just need to see what lies at the heart of this place. Okay. I think this is where I came in from, right? What is this? Crypt gate, entombing clot, and it's locked. And then what's this? Crypt gate. Oh yeah, that's right. We came through uh, the thing. Okay. Do you know what? What's here? Let's go here first. Is this like a maze? Lock picking impossible. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole. It does have an indentation for a signet ring. Ah, press the SAR signet ring to the hollow door. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. All right. Villa Roth. What is that? On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. The skull's memories rise and unfold that let them wash over you. The skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the mm. gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Wisdom. Concentrate on the memory. What is Veliroth's first lesson? Yeah! <laughs> Veliroth's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Valioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Valioth drained his friend dry. Okay, concentrate on the memory. What is Valioth's second lesson? Valioth's second lesson is that power comes from solitude. To share with others is to be weak. And to be weak is to fail and die. Forgot to tell like some recalls Sith. when Cazador rebelled against him. Cazador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. Okay, what is the third lesson? Oh no, can we roll again? Let's roll again. Okay. Valiot's third lesson is to act not in haste. A near immortal has time to plan, 
Time to act only when others will pay the price of action. Velioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Velioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull, and then to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. Black Master Scroll. This is all so okay. grand. To think, it was just sitting here, lurking under the floor. You really had no idea this was here? Of course not. It's not like he boasted about his secret lift. But it does make sense. He'd want somewhere... grand for his ascension. This seems... perfect. Now we just need to see what lies at the heart of this place. Alright. Uh, let's see this frickin' scroll I just picked up. Uh, okay, I don't think I have it. Read. Okay. The Black Mask Scroll. Unfurling the scroll re reveals a list of foul rites and rituals, detailing all the ways death can be turned to one's advantage or simply made more interesting. The rite of perfect slaughter, the liturgy of the dead, the sacrament of the damned, and many more strange accursed rituals cover the parchment. The final entry, however, is familiar. The rite of profane ascension. Oh, piteous dead, oh, ravenous dead, immortality is your gift, but darkness is your prison and hunger is a jailer. The rite of profane ascension will release you. Walk in the sun, suffer not from hunger, grow your power beyond anything you imagined. A pact has been made with the Lord of Hellfire. Deliver unto him 7,000 souls, each bearing an infernal mark, and you shall be free of your chains. You shall know true power. Deliver the souls, speak the words. Oh my gosh, Latin. Uh, uh, S.C. Dominus has animus a pharaoh in sacrificio uh, nunc volo posta datum quam politicus est mihi. Okay, yeah, I butchered that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so wow, 7,000 souls? That's crazy. So what do me So I wonder if like every person that the vampire spawn brought to Casador, he probably like brought them down here to sacrifice their soul. That's really messed up. Okay. Okay, locate and investigate Casador's lair. So we found a scroll. Okay, let's let's see. Uh, we have entered Casador's palace. Now we just need to find the vampire himself. We used an elevator to descend into a secret dungeon under Casador's palace. We have yet to find what's hidden down here. We found a scroll describing the ritual Casador wants to perform. He plans to sacrifice thousands of souls, including Astarians, to ascend and gain incredible power. Uh, let's see, the guild, Hidden Rulers of, is that the Sword Coast? Letter to Morel Elkham. Uh, Morel Elkham, I suppose, as you say, that you have reason to be proud of the expansion of the Vampire Circle in your city. Of course, Athkalta is more homogenous than Baldur's Gate. And you face fewer challenges from other factions and law enforcement, but still accept my kudos for your progress there. Enjoy the success while you can. 
Alchem, for I'm afraid that very soon it will be surpassed by my situation in Baldur's Gate, definitely so. I am on the verge of a long planned transformation that entirely changes the rules of the game. Too long have I been content to be merely a major city's vampire lord when I can be so, so much more and I shall. But that's all I'll say about the matter at present, young Alcrum. After all, we mustn't give away the surprise entirely. Hmm. It's interesting also, like, Kazador was obviously abused by his former vampire master and then killed him. And then he goes on and abuses, like, his, like, vampire spawns. It's just, like, the cycle of abuse. It doesn't, uh make what he did okay but like at least you understand him a little bit better obviously let's see meditations of the vampire lord the journal of Kazador sar it records the movements and actions of his spawn with particular attention paid to astarian every order failure and punishment is recorded oh no i don't want to read this it's gonna be so sad every order failure and punishment is recorded with cold calculation only the most recent entries seem to betray any emotion Astarian failed to return from his hunt this night. Godi informed he will have the, the pliers ready when the boy shows himself again. Still missing, I ought not be surprised. The boy has always been troublesome, but to disappear now when we are all but ready is unconsciousable. Even for him. I have dispatched the brood. They will find him and bring him home, and when they do, I will make him scream for this. It has been days and he is still missing. No amount of pain has motivated his brothers and sisters to find him. It seems Baldur's Gate has swallowed him whole. I am searching further afield, but my reach outside the city is limited. In the meantime, the hunt continues here. Dalaria and Petrus returned from today's hunt, rushing to report that they had seen him in Worms Crossing. Their tale was fanciful, but they believed it to be true. A starion standing in the sun's light, willing and able to disobey me? Inconceivable. It seems he has become more than troublesome. He is now a liability, but he will be brought to heal. He will come home, take his place with the others, and complete his purpose. My spawns failed me. A starion eludes me. I will have my due. Oh, gosh. Diseases of the blood. Uh, let's see. This is a journal written by a vampire known only as Lady Incognita, in which she describes two different blood diseases that, if contracted by ingestion of infected blood, might inconvenience a vampire with brief illness. The bulk of the text is descriptions of symptoms and uh, diagnosis of red thrombosis and Thandel's Parksum. Lady Incognita notes that with the vampire superior senses, it's possible to train oneself to recognize infected prey by scent before biting them. Red thrombosis by a piquant ginger odor and the paroxysm by a sharp astringency. Oh, Lady Incognita is Cazador's niece or something, right? He brought her here and then turned her into a vampire. I think we learned that last video. Uh, there's just like cages hanging here. Can I jump over? Okay, there's nothing over here. Oh no. Okay, we can jump from here. Okay. Wow. I hear voices. Are these the children that are missing? like the door to the ballroom upstairs this door features no keyhole but does have an indentation for a signet ring 
Press the sorrow signet ring into the hollow in the door. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. Um... Astarian, do you know who these prisoners are? I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me. And the others. If I had to guess... I'd say they're part of his ritual. But where in the hells do they come from? You. I know you. Sebastian. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. Oh, I was right then. No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. Damn. Beneath the dirt and blood, you notice that every prisoner has a rune carved into their flesh. I was right. So when all the spawn would go out and get people for Cazador, they just thought they were bringing him like humans to feed on and then they'd die. But... He, Kazador probably fed on them, but then he wouldn't kill them. Instead, he, like, kept them here. His scar matches one of the runes on your back. Then they're bound to the Black Mass, too. Bound through the scars. Through me. I know these faces. Every one that shares my scar, they're my conquests. Mm. I pursued them, seduced them, and brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? down here I'll let a starian answer 170 years <gasps> you were one of my first my oh family. my god my friends <laughs> they're gone He's so you fucked took up them from me you took everything from me. Ah. Uh, let's see. Intimidation. Stop whining. The only thing that matters is killing Kazador. He's responsible for all of this. Persuasion. Kazador plans to use you in his ritual. That's why he scarred you. Let us help. Yeah, let's do that one. Kazador plans to use you in his ritual. That's why he scarred you. Let us help. Yeah. Help. Help. There's 
no helping us while that monster lives. That's why we're here. To destroy Kazator. <laughs> you can't. It's not possible. Where is he now? The Grand Chamber. Just ahead. But even if you can kill him, what then? What happens to us? I kind of want to say I have no intention of freeing a bunch of ravenous spawn, but that's really mean also. Okay, yeah, that depends. Can you control your hunger? I don't know. Trust me when I say I know the feeling, but you can resist the urge. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. I can't go and wait. We'll be back. You have my word. God's above. He kept Sebastian. I should have known what Cazador was capable of. Ah, he's played us for such fools. And not just seven spawn to placate the devil. Seven spawn and seven thousand souls bound to them in blood. Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots, <laughs> and the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. Uh, it's Kazdor's cruelty, not yours, to have kept them alive in this way. Don't think about them, focus on yourself. Yeah, Astar, and we need your head to be like, I know this is like really, really heavy stuff. No, <laughs> that's mean, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I always wanna go like the mean dialogue, but I shouldn't. Uh... Okay, so if Kazdor had seven main spawn and then 7,000 souls that are bound to the spawn, that means a thousand people are in here because of Astarian. That's wild. Um, okay. Yeah, it's Kazdor's cruelty, not yours, to have kept them alive in this way. Thank you. Yes. This will all be over soon. It's just sickening. Seeing them again. They're right there. <laughs> I don't know what else. Did you hear that, Sebastian? He said it's sickening to see you again. No, oh, that's so mean. That's so cruel. Can I open this? I just want to breathe free Oh my god, this is so sad. One last time. This is so sad. Are these children over here? Who are these ones? Hey. <gasps> hey, you. Oh Come no. Oh, it's the. God. Oh, it can't no. be. It is you. I knew it. I'll kill you. Once I get out of here, I'll kill you. Oh, no. You're the children from the Monster Hunters camp. Camp. Monster Hunters. Uh, the girl camp. Oh, God. Oh, no. My parents camp. Uh, Chessa, focus. Resist the beast in inside you. Uh, you promised. Uh, it's your fault. You did this to us. Didn't he tell you? He's the one that kidnapped us. He's the reason we're spawns. He didn't have a choice. He was literally I'll forced to do you. it. Uh, <laughs> yes, now that you um, <laughs> mention it, uh, I may have done that. 
Oh, don't look at me like that. Casador's orders. <laughs> Quite the deviation from my usual routine, of course. Uh, capture, not lure. Uh, I didn't bring them in with sweet rolls or anything. I really forgot about them. Felt nothing the moment I handed them over to him. Oh. Uh, we promised their parents we'd save them. Parents? Y you've seen my parents? Um, yes, I have. They're better off without you, just kidding. Uh, yeah, they're looking for you. I miss them. I, I think. Or perhaps it's the hunger. Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to tell. You should go. Uh, leave us here. We shouldn't be out there. We'd hurt our families. Never give up hope. No, we're probably going to end up killing them all. I don't want all these vampires spawn out, attacking people of Baldur's Gate. There's so there's seven thousand. No way. Uh, I feel like all these people are gonna die. How do I free you? Behind the exhaustion, starvation, and fear, recognition stirs in her eyes, and with it, hope. You. You really mean it, uh, uh, Casadors? But the staff. It controls the doors. If you get it. You can set everyone free, if you get it, somehow. Uh, yeah, I can't promise anything, but I'll try. Please. Whatever you can do. What are you doing? They're going to tear me to shreds. They'd never forgive me for what I've done. Well, what else would you have me do? I just... I never want to see these little scraps of misery again. The world doesn't need to know my shame. Okay, we'll kill everyone here then. That looks like a final battle area. Let's just go back. So I think there's another door I didn't open. Seems simple enough. Okay, I guess we're having the final battle with Casador. This will be interesting. Let's do this. Who stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family. You should be begging our forgiveness. Let's see. Keep back. Do not intervene. We know all about the ritual. We're here to stop you. He doesn't owe you anything. Astarian was afraid of you. You're pathetic. No, that's like... Now nah, let's just keep back. Forgiveness. You've never forgiven anything. Every mistake. Every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things. Even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No! No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me! Okay, let's see. We're here for justice. You're going to pay. We're here to stop the ritual. Careful, Astarian. Don't lose your head. Say nothing. 
uh, say nothing. They told me you had changed. I dared not believe it. Oh, thankless child. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? You son of a bitch. <gasps> oh, fuck. You forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. <laughs> But today, you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I will ascend. Oh my god. No! Stop him! Get me out of this! Witness the birth! Of the Vampire Ascendant! Ecce Dominus! How do we stop this? Okay. Let's do this and this. Where is Kazador? Oh, right here. Oh, I'm so close. Can I, like, move a little bit more? Haha, -ha, take that. Okay. Uh, can I do anything else? No. Okay. Sucks, I don't have a starring in the battle. <laughs> there he is. Oh my gosh. Let's use a misty step. Go here. Okay, let's try this. Dang, didn't work. Well, that sucks. Lazel. Frickin' does she have? Yeah, misty step. Friggin, come over here. Okay. Now I need you to attack the shit out of Kazador. Main hand attack. Yes. Uh, soul breaker. Damn. Okay. Uh... Goading attack. 
Okay. Good. Uh, use that. And I guess we'll just end your turn. Dazzling Ray. Good. Uh, okay. Did that miss? I feel like that missed. No, it didn't. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna die! No, they're all missing. Okay. God. They're all just bunching up here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, okay, good. Gail has a turn. Uh, Gail. Uh, Yeah, it is. Again. Again. Stop fucking missing him. Grand weapon master bonus attack. Again. Okay. Okay. We killed Kazador. Now what? Uh, she can't do anything. End her turn. Did we kill Kazador? Oh, Astarian's free. Oh my god. Just attack that. Whatever. Alright, let's fucking... Use this guy. Whatever. Let's attack this one. All right. Where is Kassar's body? Is this Kassar's body? That's a bat. Whatever. End your turn. Dick. Leave Gale alone! Victory 
awaits. Stand in my way. What are you doing? I want you. Why did you go? I clicked here. Why the fuck did you run back up that way? Can he reach this guy? Where do I go from here? Uh, I don't know. Just like walk over keep here. Going. Keep walking. There we are. That's dealt with. All right. Okay, Gale. Hand attack. Yeah. All right. Ugh. Right. I'm assuming there's going to be a cutscene. was finally mine! Hurry to his coffin! It's time to end this. Where's his coffin? Oh, right here. Open. Should I have, like... Oh, never mind. No, no healing soup for you! Wake up! Get your hands off me! Worm! <laughs> I'm not the one in the dirt. Yes, kill him. One last thrust. And I'll be free of you. I'll never have to fear you again. But if I finish the ritual you started... I'll never have to fear anyone. Ever. You think me a fool? That I would allow anyone to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place? Hm? The runes I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual. Complete it, and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed. You included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you to be a 
consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. I can do this, but I need your help. Okay, let's see. All right, what do you need? If I help you complete the ritual, it will kill all these people. Didn't you hear him? If you complete the ritual, you'll be consumed. I'm not doing this. Okay, what do you need? I need your eyes, in a manner of speaking. What do you think you are doing? I'm making what you made me. Use the parasite. Link your mind to mine. Through your eyes, I can see the scars on my back and copy them onto his. You would not dare. I would. And I will. You will be consumed, and all the power you've lusted after will be mine. That power isn't worth so many lives. Trust me. Help me do this. Ah. Uh, Please. I don't know what to do. This is so heartbreaking. Okay. I feel like this is like a moment we had with Shadowheart, right? Where she could choose either to go with Char or like step away. And then it's like a moment like with Lazelle where she could choose Blackith or step away. Uh, Will didn't, Will and Karlak didn't really have a huge moral dilemma. Gail is going to be like, put the crown on or not. He's putting the crown on. Look at him. He wants to put the crown on. He's like ready for it. Astarian though. I don't know what to do. I don't think Astarian... He, he, he doesn't want to be a monster. And this would make him a monster. He's going to be so upset with me. I know. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. <sighs> he really wants me to, but I don't want him to ascend. Alright, he, he begged me. I don't know. Okay, enter. I don't know. Okay, fine. Enter Astarian's mind so he can proceed with the ritual. Your minds join and your two selves become one. You can feel the knife in your hand, see the scars on his back and taste his hunger for power. Yes. Yes. I see it. What are you doing? Don't! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! No! My God. Ungrateful child. Wretched child. Time to take your place. Dominus has animus of arrow in sacrifice. 
me. He doesn't want this. He'll become a monster. <sighs> Cal Oh my god. Don't you dare. I, can <sighs> I really kind of want to stop him, but at the same time, okay, let me like think about this. So, Astarian really wants the ritual to continue, obviously. I don't know, is this him like taking back his power from like all the years of abuse? Should I just let it happen? Okay, if I think about like the end of the game. Okay, so right now the only reason Astarian is able to walk in the sun currently is because he has the um, mind flare thing in his, he has like the parasite in his brain. And once we defeat the elder brain, I feel like that's gonna disappear. That's how we get rid of it. And so then Astarian will lose his ability to walk in the sun and he'll have to just stay in the shadows again. So by that logic, I can't, that'd be so cruel. It's like he finally, after like 200 years of like torture and living in the darkness and at night, he's like free to walk in the sun right now. And now if I was to tell him no, that'd just be like contending, condemning him to like darkness again. Fine. I was like kind of against this. But honestly, logically speaking, for him to be able to walk in the sun, this is the only option, I guess. Sure. Nunc volo potestantum quam polici tus es me. Now he won't have to feed on my blood. That ache in my stomach, that hunger, it's gone. I'm free. I'm finally free. Oh, oh, it feels delicious. So what now? <laughs> we deal with the elder brain. I no longer require its parasite, so we can end this once and for all. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is at the end of this video, I'm going to just like go back and see what would happen if I like stopped Astarian from even starting the ritual. So if I didn't even use the mind player to connect with him. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and do that and see what would happen. All right. This is it. The hopeless dream dreamt by all of my kind. I am. The greatest vampire to ever walk this land. Even the Pale Knight would have knelt before me. You have power, but your greatness is yet to be proven. No more Kazador, isn't it a relief? You are magnificent. Oh. You are magnificent. I felt so very little for so long. My edges. I don't know. I don't feel good about this. Over the number of years rotting in the boudoir and kennels. Now I can hear it at last. See it at last. 
how all the lowly creatures of this plane are begging. Okay, Asarian. Okay, calm down. <laughs> how to call upon them? Scurrying footpads in their safe houses. Rats below our feet in their filthy holes. The crows in the night above. They will obey. You're you're a bit evil Indeed. right now. I can tell. Uh. Your heartbeat races. You hold your breath while I speak. You await my command. The world will stir in fear. Let's see. Embrace it together. This world will be ours. I'm not afraid of you. You're starting to scare me. Come on. You're still the same as Starian, just stronger. Yeah, come on. You're still the same as Starian, just stronger. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. The very composition of my blood has been altered. Our lives will never be the same again. Everything will be ours. Everything. I already hear the world whispering in sweet surrender. Oh no. And I feel alive. <laughs> ah, shit. Can he still kiss me? I can face anything now. Let's get back to the hunt. Are we still dating? No. Uh. Oh no. I think, do you know what? It was a really intense moment. Let's just go to camp and we'll just relax for a second and we'll figure it out. Everything will be fine. Oh no. Uh. More than prepared. Something tells me there's gonna be a battle ahead. These are the Gurs, aren't they? Yeah, we killed your children. Oh, now we're gonna have to fight them. Oh, we should actually go back and I technically have the staff now, right? Is it in my inventory or Starian's? I don't know, this doesn't feel good. <sighs> okay, what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm just gonna go back to an old save and just explore the different options just to see. Okay, I'll be right back. No, we can't, I won't help you. Just kill Kazador. Is... is it over? Yes. It's over. You can do whatever you want. I 
As for those wretches in the cells, if I don't get my freedom, neither do they. He's gonna leave them there? It's over. I'm done with this. And I'm done with you. I would say good luck out there, but honestly... I hope you die screaming. Wait, did he just break up with me? Let's see, I'm sorry, but I couldn't let you do it. You don't need it, you're more than strong enough as you are. You were mad with power, what else could I do? You don't need it, you're more than strong enough as you are. Don't you tell me what I needed. I was so close. I could have had it all. But you took Everything from me! Casador won after all. I'll never escape the hell he built. And if I can't escape, then no one can. Not them. And certainly not you! All of those were so bad. <laughs> he either leaves me or I have to fight him. <laughs> oh, why are those my options? Can't we just have the nice, sweet Astarian? <laughs> oh, no. Maybe he's okay. It, you know, it was just a really emotional moment, but ultimately, I guess this choice was the best choice because, yeah. He either leaves me or I have to kill him. So what, he dies? Like... <sighs> okay, let's see if we can open these cages. Does a Starian have the staff? What's it called? Whoa. Is it this? Is that a blade or a staff? It's a quarter staff. Do you know, we don't need to open these cages, it's fine. It just kind of sucks that, like, the kids are dead. <sighs> okay, well, I mean, this is the choice where Astarian lives, and we'll just have to, you know, I think he'll be okay once he's, like, come to terms with everything that's happened. You know, it was a really emotional time, but holy fuck. It's not like I was given, like, a friggin' dice roll either to, like, try and convince him not to. I don't understand, like, how do you even... I don't know. Oh, maybe if I would have gone back and was like, what about the children? Maybe he would have been like, oh, maybe. 
Maybe there's a way to like convince him not to do the ritual himself. Whatever. I'll just have to do a different playthrough. Anyways, now these people are gonna be pissed at me. I had hoped to avoid this path. I yeah, had me hoped too. You would choose the better road. A fool I was to ever hope a beast like you could be saved. Oh, please. There's no need for such language. I promised you Cazador's death, and I more than delivered. I even killed a few thousand spawn whilst I was at it. You should be thanking me for saving you the trouble. He's not wrong. I need a starry and strong to save the city. This is the lesser evil, I promise. Walk away, Alma. Your tribe doesn't need to die here. We don't have to fight. We can work together. Yeah. No, walk away, Alma. Your tribe doesn't need to die here. Oh, I don't know. This might be the perfect place for them to die. Oh, my Look God. Look at the hate in their eyes. They won't ever stop hunting me. We That's true. Okay, let's just kill them all. And you chose power. As your kind always does. But I still have hope for you that you there will is more make than just a better power. choice. I'm not killing will him if you that's what you're stand suggesting. Against evil? Will you help us destroy this monster? I just created him. Fuck no. No, I stand with him. <sighs> then you are as much a monster as he. Probably. I'm just gonna eat that freaking astral mind flare thing them. too now. Kill them all. all right. <sighs> all right, Astarian. All right, she's dead. <laughs> What is this? Ascendant bite. Suck the blood from a living creature to heal yourself. How's that different from vampire bite? Does he have any other pet special powers? Doesn't really look like it. Other than this. Alright. Does he have a mind flare in him? He's just gonna bite you. I don't know, I don't feel good about this. Can she actually... Okay. Just wait. We can get her to run. Oh wait, no. She knows... Oh, I can't use Misty Stop? Okay, never mind. Alright, yeah, just like run over here. And then you can... Action Surge. And then you can smite this person. And then you can... Do you like this thing? Okay. Commander strike. What does that do? Okay. And just do that, I guess. Okay, well, 
Well, that person's gonna die. Will you please, Mistra? Nah, fuck Mistra. Not enough movement. God, fuck it. Alright, let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. There we go. Alright, Astarian. Okay, do you know what? Dispel your gaseous form. And I can't do anything? Fine. Imperial TV. <laughs> okay. Oh, they had a mind player, Parasite. I will not know fate. Just clean house. Can she do one more? Yeah. Okay, now she can't. What fools these mortals be. Uh. Fine, Astarian will just bite him. Oh, that was very, very satisfying. Who better to test these new powers on? Mm, sure. And who better? I can face anything now. Let's get back to the hunt. Elevator lies ready to carry you back up to the palace. Ascend out of the dungeon. <sighs> Can I go to camp now? All right, let's just read the journal. Astarian is grateful for us for helping him become a vampire ascendant. We can count on his dark magic in the battlefield. Obviously, he's one of my companions. Fuck. Of course we can count. What is he gonna is he gonna leave? Like, no. No, you're not allowed to leave, Astarian. It's too late for me to have a relationship with anyone else. You have to stay. So we just have these two to do. Which Scales I can't do till after I get the crown, so we have to defeat the Elder Brain, and I guess we're gonna free Orpheus now, so I have to figure out where the hell to go for that. Okay, well, let's friggin' go to camp. <sighs> Alright, does anyone have thoughts? Okay, good, Astarian. Still here, Astarian. Gods, you're beautiful. Oh, he still loves me. Can we talk about the us. two of us? I still love the sound of that. I still love the sound of that. Okay, can I kiss you? How could I say no? You are my favorite, after all. That implies you have more than one. Wait, what? I don't 
don't know what to say. Oh my god. That was so shocking. Out of everything in this fucking game. Does it happen again? How could I say no? You are my favorite, after all. break up with him? I feel like I need to break up with him. That's unacceptable. What are we to you? Uh, I don't know. Not this really. It's not nice. nice. Not, not really. Me. Not anymore. Uh, you're not a victim. Not a target. Uh, I mean, not just I kind one of night. Am. It's best to forget. <laughs> but then. Whatever in the world could you be? I think I need to break up with him. Gail, is there still a chance to be with you? <laughs> so, a vampire lord oh, walks no. us. A powerful ally to have <sighs> at our side and a powerful enemy should our intention I still have in. Things are getting more interesting by the moment. Hmm. Oh my god. So we're knocking around with a vampire lord now. We sure this is a good idea. <sighs> this isn't just any vampire lord, it's a starry and our friend. I hope he still sees it that way. Something uh -huh. tells me he's not the same person we knew. Not in Yeah. Anymore. Yeah, I was really fucked up what he just did to me. Starian succumbed to his power lust. A Githyanki would have known better. We seek might not for individual power, but for the good of the collective. I may no longer serve Vlakith, but I still attend to a collective. The allies of the Prince of the Comet. And, of course, the one we've made for ourselves. <sighs> to seek power for personal glory alone is a farce. A shame he can't see it. You're right. <laughs> oh my god. This is so awful. It is said vampires only make a show of feeling that their only true emotion is hunger. But those screams sounded real enough. 7,000 souls. Astarian inherits his master's debts, as well as his very fine palace. And when all of this is done, I plan on being a very nosy neighbor. Good, you gotta keep him in line. Cause I'm just gonna like be with Halzen, my other boyfriend. Astarian. He has ascended amongst the ranks of the undead. I can only hope that he does not come to regret the price that he paid. I can't kiss him anymore. <sighs> Thousands oh were God. sacrificed and the servant become Lord. I'm sure Astarian's quite pleased with himself. Wish I could say the same. Astarian is part of the vampire aristocracy now. I hope he doesn't expect us to bow to him. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, about that. He just did the most fucked up thing to me. If I indeed we have done to rid Faerun of this man, all helm hair and a haughtiness. Oh. 
This was the Lord Gortash we were sworn to do battle with, Boo. All the better then. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I feel so. I think I fucked up my game. So fucked up. Just go to bed. Fuck. All right. Okay, let's just see if Astarian's still like fucked up. Gods, you're beautiful. Can we? <laughs> I suppose we can. How could I say no? You are my favorite, after all. Okay, see, the kisses are getting, like, better. Oh, no, I don't like that. That's weird. No, that's weird. I don't like that either. <sighs> oh, no. Delicious. Wow, okay. I'm gonna have to break up with Astarian. We'll do that next video, I think. I need to, like... More in the breakup myself. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe we should have just killed him. I can't believe you let me do that. Killing all those people. A pleasant surprise. <sighs> Let's see. I wanted what was best for you. No, that. Uh... I wasn't about to release 7,000 hungry vampire spawn into the world. I don't feel great about it, honestly. I wanted a powerful ally, and now I have one. Yeah, honestly, I wasn't about to release 7,000 hungry vampires spawn into the world. Of course. Whatever you need to tell yourself, darling. But no, make that's no true. mistake. I will forever remember what you did for me today. And one wicked turn deserves another. So tell me what you desire. What can I do for my dearest pet? I want to be a vampire like you. No. I want you. I want your body. No. You can tell me that you've learned something from all of this. I'm not your pet. Yeah, you can tell me that you learned something from all of this. Truly. And what was I supposed to learn from this? Ooh, I hope you learn to love me. Not to become Cazador himself. That sex and relationships aren't about power over someone else. These are all actually good. Oh, okay, I might have to go back and explore the other dialogue options to see what he says. Uh, he's not going to become Cazador himself, because Cazador, literally his only goal was to be ascended, which is why he did everything. Literally for like 200 years, Cazador worked towards the goal of like having 7,000 souls to sacrifice. So... Yeah, sex and relationships aren't about power over someone else. Please. Everything is about power. Sex, relationships, violence. They're all just different forms of control. And now you oh think you can God. stand there and tell me how to feel? Because, because what? Because you care. Your hands are as bloody as mine, darling. Why would you go along with any of this? Just to pretend you're innocent now. Uh, I wanted you to feel safe, and you said this was the only way you'd feel safe. Okay, let's see. Because I cared, but maybe now I. S okay, let's see. Because I cared, but maybe now I see how wrong I was. No, I don't like that. It's kind of like not manipulative, but it's like deflect I don't know I did it for you you piece of shit nah yeah I wanted you to feel safe because you said this was the only way you'd feel safe it seems I misjudged <gasps> you what <laughs> I thought we might have a future together even an eternity 
But perhaps you're not worthy. So, what's it to be, darling? Is he freaking out? Is up this with it? Me? Okay, I hope we can work things out and stay together. I still care for you, but it can't be like this. You're a hypocrite. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to look at you again. Get out of my camp. Yeah, I still care for you, but it can't be like this. A pity, then. We could have had something truly special. I won't forget what you've done for me. I won't leave you to fight this alone. You came so far. Only to slip now. <laughs> Such a pity. What the fuck? I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I might have to go back to a different save. I don't think I can do this. I'm so upset. I don't know what the fuck to do. I might actually, how do I make him be good? I'm so upset. He's so toxic and abusive right now. I can't, I can't like, oh my God. I don't know what to do. Okay. Um, do you know what? I'm going to break up with him right now. And then I might have to go back to a previous save and refight Kazador. Because I honestly, and then maybe see if we can like, maybe just redo this whole thing where we're like, no, we care about the children or whatever. And see if that changes things because I honestly don't think I can continue playing the game like this. I'm just like kind of really disgusted right now. Just so you know, I have everything I ever wanted. I'm a little bit everything triggered. <laughs> lies ahead. I can see my path to a waking dream. From the Crimson Palace I will govern day and night. Create a city of spawn who bow before me. Cast a fog over the world for my children. What is happening to you? The ritual has changed you so much. So much for the better. My instincts are already so quick. The world seems slow around me. Everything is moving at a grinding pace. I feel like I will live thousands of hours every day. Very soon, I will discover how to call my legions of wolves, become a sea of mist, run wrong side up on roofs. <laughs> Everything vampires do best. You could have two. <laughs> what a waste. Don't try and freaking manipulate me into becoming a freaking vampire. I just wanted you to walk in the sun and not be in the darkness. I was so sad. Oh my god. The fuck? Uh, okay. You mean the ritual didn't give you the powers you hoped for? You really don't have anything at all? I thought you were perfect when we just met. What a waste you became this. Oh, I kind of like two and three. Nah, let's go with two. You don't really have anything at all. I can take anything I want. I should have made you a spawn. Just to teach you that. <laughs> you will regret leaving me. More than anything you live to regret. Why in the hell is you bothering me now? I think I'm gonna have to break my rule and go back to a previous save. I've only ever done this once before, actually in this game. And that was because I accidentally killed Damon and couldn't proceed with Karlak's quest. 
But I have, like, I literally never go back to previous saves. Like, all I do is, like, if I die in battle, obviously the battle restarts. But, like, I don't physically make myself go back to, like, redo things. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to redo this entire video. Like, should I even post this? I guess I'll post it. I'm so sad right now. Either way, Astarian's not completing this ritual, so he can just leave fucking camp if this is who he becomes, but no. We have to go back and save Astarian. We need to save him from himself. We're going to pretend that we're able to turn back time, and we're going to save Astarian from himself next video, and if not, then he will leave. <sighs> I don't even... Anyways, whatever. Okay, thank you guys. I'm gonna end the video here for today. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>